The mouth parts of a honey bee are made up of mandibles and proboscis, or tongue. When a worker visits a flower, she brings forward the proboscis, which is normally tucked under her chin, and inserts it into the part of the flower where the nectar is. When she locates nectar, the bee sucks until she has extracted all that is within her reach. The nectar is stored in the honey sac, a second stomach, until she returns to the hive. The nectar load is transferred to the worker bees in the hive, who suck the nectar from the honey through their proboscis. They work the nectar adding enzymes until it is suitable for storing in the cell of a honeycomb. Nectar contains about 60% of water. Bees add enzymes and break down the complex carbohydrates to simple sugars and store the nectar in the honeycomb where the water content is reduced to about 18% through evaporization. The bee will drop nectar into honeycomb and evaporate it by fanting their wings. The honey is the only food that includes all the substances needed to sustain life, including water. An average worker bee makes about half a teaspoon of honey in its lifetime. A bee will beat about 11,400 times their wings uh, every minute to make that buzzing sound. And a bee will visit about 4 million flowers uh, to make 1 kilogram of honey, which is equal to 2.2 pounds. I hope you enjoy this footage of a honey bee pulling a nectar from dandelions. Um, I took this footage next to my house and uh, dandelions show up in the spring. They're one of the first flowers and a good source of nectar for, for lots of insects including bees.